If you're not logged into my view board, you can still interact with the canvas, the tools, and anything stored locally on your device. However, if you'd like to be able to access things from your cloud drives or integrate conferencing clients, you'll need to bind those accounts at myviewboard.com. Here's how we do it. If we open our browser and go to www.myviewboard.com, sign into the account that we've been given. Once we see this interface, in the top right corner, we have our profile. If we click on the drop down menu, we can scroll down to where it says follow me. If we click on follow me, this is a settings account that gives us some options along the side here to set as defaults. If we go to cloud integrations, what this will do is it displays where I have bound cloud devices to my MyViewboard account. So far I've connected my Google Drive, my Dropbox and my OneDrive for business. What I would like to do, however, is connect my Zoom conferencing clients so that I can host meetings directly from my viewboard. In order to do this, all I need to do is click Authorize. At this point, it will take me to an external website. So here I'm on the Zoom website. It's prompting me to put in my username and my password. As soon as I click to sign in, it will enable me to authorize the binding of this Zoom account to my, my, to my, my viewboard account. As soon as this has happened, what we'll see in our cloud drive is that my email address is highlighted in green in the cloud integrations tab. If I now switch back over to my view board and log in using my QR code or my username and password, once I have done though, I have now displayed the Zoom integration in my, my view board. If I go to my magic box, I can access any of my cloud drives as well as my local storage. And if I go to this tab at the top here, the wireless presentation and video conferencing, I can access my Zoom or my Skype conferencing accounts.